send them any more money. I don't want to do any of that. So an arms embargo. Yeah. Hey, Montaz, where are we and so, what are we doing? We are in front of this venue where the minority leader, Hakeem Jeffries, is going to be speaking and a lot of the DNC people are going to be in there. We're handing out these flyers, letting people know that this man is wanted for war crimes against Palestine. Yep, and yeah. he's been bought out by the pro-Israel lobby. Been, he's essentially an agent for the genocidal state of Israel. Exactly. And so we're here to let people know. How is yeah. it going, passing out these posters? It's been great. People are really worried about their safety. There aren't many Palestinians among the attendees, though, so they don't have much to be scared about. A lot of them are ignoring us, which is a part for the course. The ones who have taken it are very interesting. Yeah. I don't like what's going on, but... But will you take it a step further, call for an arms embargo on Israel? And call for money out of politics. Should the politicians be able to take this much money from a lobby? We changed campaign, there's campaign finance reform, period, that you shouldn't have to need so much money to run for office, frankly. It's bigger than that for me. Okay. It's just period that that's how all kind of people can run. Young people can run. People of color can Absolutely. run. You don't need. We just spoke to a money. congressman earlier today who told us that he didn't take money from APAC either, though. And he thought that it was really important that we stand up and make it heard, especially in our party, that we're not taking money from the Zionist lobbies while they're actively dropping bombs on Palestinians with our. With and I, our, I don't agree with that. Thank I mean, you. So are you pushing for an arms embargo to Israel? We've never talked about that yet, but I mean, peace, ceasefire, you know. I'm going to start with an arms embargo because yeah. we're kind of giving them the fire, right? So the what? We're giving them the fire. I mean, I don't want to send them any more money. I don't want to do any of that. So an arms embargo. Yeah. I, I didn't call it that, but. Yeah. But so would so you like, support that if sending if weapons that to Israel as well? Yeah, I would. Yeah. I would. Thank you very yeah, I much. Thank I you. hope you can push for this uh, with the DNC this week. We really appreciate voices like yours. So thank you. I look forward to seeing you supporting an arms embargo. Okay. Thank you very Thank much, you. Congresswoman Thank Kelly. You. All right, so we just wrapped up at the Hakeem Jeffries event. Hadia, what happened as we were leaving? I actually ran into an old friend from suburban Chicago, Representative Sean Caston, who I shook his hand, said hello, asked him how he was doing. I turned this poster around to talk to him about the fundraiser he was entering, and he didn't want to talk anymore. So I encourage folks to get out there and make sure you pressure your reps to continue calling them out on funding from Zionist lobbies to end the weapons sales to Israel this week at the DNC.